Let's add our first instrument, the FKI First 808 bass. We can try out some different presets. If we do find a note we like, then we can use the note lock button and keep the same note as we change through the presets. Let's add in a hi-hat. And now let's add in a mini sampler instrument. We can tap the import sample button and to add our own sample, we tap import sample, then we just find the sample we want in our file structure. Now we see it in the user library. To trim, tap the trim button, which is next to the sample load button. We can drag the start and end points to trim the sample. Let's zoom in and out by dragging our finger up to zoom in, and then scrub left and right across the entire sample and select just the sample we want. We hit confirm, and now we have one hit. You can import an entire folder of samples by selecting the folder, then tapping OK. Now we have that folder in our user library, and we can select new samples as usual. Let's grab another mini sampler and use a kick sample to add impact to our 808. Let's lower the sustain. Now, if we unlock it using the unlock key, we can drag it over our 808 base. Be sure to lock the play space again. Let's rename the mini sampler layer to kick impact. And let's rename the other mini sampler to clap. This way there's no confusion. Now let's drag the kick impact layer down below the 808 so that it's behind it. We can also change the colors of the kick impact. Let's delete the hat engine by swiping left on the layer and then clicking the trash. Now let's grab the chilled hat instrument instead. Let's change the color of the hat by tapping the color change box on the layer. Now let's click the connection tab. Let's connect the kick impact instrument to the roll's reset. As you can hear, our chilled hat roll drops pitch as we play, but now the kick impact will reset the root note. If we scroll over in the instrument panel, we can see the action monitor. Here we can see that it pitches down, and when we tap the kick, it resets back up. Let's add a counter four. Let's switch the sample out. We can collapse folders by clicking the arrow next to them. In our factory library, we have lots of sounds, so let's pick some new toms for each of these. Now we have four separate sounds as we push. Let's change the loop amount so that it loops on the very last tom if we keep hitting it indefinitely. We simply slide the bar over to change that. Now, let's go to connections. Let's set the kick impact to set zero so that the kick impact resets our counter for. Now you see the kick impact resets the tom to the one. Sounds good, but let's move it. Let's first unlock it, then let's drag it and make it a little smaller. That should do. Be sure to relock it. Sounds good. Now let's add a context 4. Scroll right in the instrument panel, then tap the sample to change it. Let's go ahead and pick one from our files. Let's load a whole piano folder, click OK, and now in our user library we have our piano folder. Let's select a piano sample for two of the hits. Now let's connect the kick impact to sample 1, the clap to sample 2. If we hit the kick impact we hear one sound. And if we hit the clap, we hear the second. We can hear they're a little off. Let's go ahead and change the action out on the kick impact. Let's select it in the layer. Now, scroll over to action out and change it from quantize to immediate. We need to do the same with the second mini sampler, which was our clap. Now they'll hit on the right time.
Let's grab a gully clap just to add one more element to our beat. Let's change the pitch on the fourth a little bit and lower the timing. Now let's resize it by tapping unlock. This will let us hit it faster if we make it thinner. Lock it back and try it out. I think we need to lower it a little bit. Yep, that sounds good. Let's try to change our background. If we scroll down the layers, our bottom layer is called background. Tap it to see its parameters. Tap the background layer and the icon on the left to pick a new image from our folder. Now, let's go ahead and drag our context by unlocking it over that image that we added. And let's change it to transparent so that we can be sure we don't see it. Now it seems as if the image itself is being played. Let's test it out. To go full screen, tap the full screen icon in the top right corner. Now let's try it. <laughs> 